with uh, today's feature sound right there. You got it? Yeah, and, uh, sounds for samples. And sounds for samples, of course. Hi, Joe. How's it going? Hey, uh, check it out. This is uh, right now the only machine in the building. Right now, it's running a very, very early 1.7 beta. Uh, right now, no real time frame for when we're going to be releasing. Probably a month or two down the road. But I just want to show where a little couple of things we're working on. Uh, this right here, um, this is a status indicator. What that does is, as you play in a beat, it shows you your loop boundary. This is uh, this is actually this was actually an idea uh, from uh, it was it was actually originally on the 4000. Uh, it was a request and an idea from uh, one of my favorite producers, Anthony Rota from uh, from Germany. Uh, big, huge electro guy, one of my favorites. Um, so we threw that, we got that in there for him, and for you guys too. Um, other things I want to show you guys is now, in our options, we have a little section called, um, other, other, we have a default mixer behavior. Now what we have is a unified mixer, or we can do mixer per sequence. Now, the original MPC workflow was every every sequence could have completely different mixes, you could have different, different effects going to each different mix or whatever, but a lot of people wanted to have everything in one place. You know, you wanted, you wanted to make sure that, you know, track one is always my 808 kit, track two is always affected a certain way. So what you do now in the mixer is go over here, we now have these mixer scenes right here. 128 of them, so you can have, you can have 128 of them. And what that does is that's a different scene, a different scene for each sequence. Um, now, we've also got another, again, another work in progress. We've got these right here, volume indicators per track. Uh, also looking at our, looking at the program mixer, potentially doing something in there. Uh, and uh, 1.7 is also going to have mixer automation. Uh, we're going to have the ability to, um, we're going to also have the ability to do multi-processor support. So, uh, for instance, you can have, you can assign how many, right now we're doing it in the beta, so you can do assign multi-processing threads. Um, that's more for development, so we can see, uh, we can see uh, for beta testing where the problems are, what threads are happening, all that kind of thing. But uh, you're going to have multi-processor support, be able to take full advantage of your computer. And uh, also we're going to have AAX support, and uh, we're going to do effects automation. Uh, and that'll all be in 1.7, uh, and plus whatever else we can get out there. Uh, but yeah, we're you know still going strong, still got the same team. Uh, we're still cranking, and uh, you know we're uh, working on the features so uh, you guys will uh, have more to work with. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, that's it right cool. there. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Makai Nam 2014. No problem. See you guys. Cheers.